go. I want everyone to close their eyes. Now I want you all to imagine you're on a warm beach on a summer day. Imagine the sound of the waves crashing out in front of you. Feel the soft sand beneath you and smell the salty air above you. Everything is calm and you feel at peace. Now imagine as you're walking the beach, every step you take, you have to avoid big piles of plastic that litter the sand. You go take a cool dip in the ocean and you must unwrap multiple bags off your limbs that have attached themselves to you. Now open your eyes. It is estimated that by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean, according to the Impact Hub. If we don't stop our overuse of single-use plastic, the scene I have just set for you today will become a reality. Today, I'd like to do more than persuade you to limit your plastic footprint, but rather beg you for the sake of our Earth and people like you and me. During these next seven minutes, I'll be discussing the impact plastic has on our Earth, ways we can change it, and what our future will look like if we do change it. We must all do what we can before it's too late to do anything at all. The single use of plastic has not only destroyed our oceans, but is in the process of taking over our whole world and changing life as we know it. Almost eight million tons of plastic end up in our ocean each year. Plastic has many negative effects, including killing our animals, killing our reefs, and producing hazardous chemicals. Every one of us is guilty of using plastic. I'm sure many of you use large portions of plastic every single day, like bottles or bags, anything. A single plastic fork can typically take up to 450 years to decompose when we typically only use it for a single time for 15 minutes. After we use such things, they end up in numerous places, including in our ocean or in animals' intestines. The mass production of plastic throughout our world is killing our oceans and our animals within it. Fish and other species can use the, the floating plastic bags as a meal. This ends up either killing them or suffocating them over a period of time. Bigger fish, or even us humans, consume the fish that eat the plastic and then we pay consequences. According to Lyman Mayne, at site space, microplastics could cause serious physical and chemical harm to humans and organisms. Not only is plastic harmful to our oceans, it can cause a big dent in our wallet. It can cost up to $5.2 billion in plastic pollution cleanup. Single-use plastic is killing our oceans, cluttering our world and costing us a lot of money. We as a society have become too busy enjoying the ocean instead of taking care of it. Oregon is moving in a positive direction for the sake of our earth by banning the use of plastic bags within stores or forcing you to pay a tax for a paper bag. It's things like this that will help save our oceans from being consumed by plastic pollution. It's important we are all aware of our plastic footprint and the things we, can, we put out into this world. The biggest way to solve this problem is to switch to sustainable resources and limit your plastic use altogether. Plastics are indispensable in modern society but are non-sustainable resources releasing hazardous chemicals during their service life, says Bimbo Wang of Green Chemistry. I feel it's very important to support the ban of any single-use plastic bags, especially there, especially. There are many alternatives, including tote bags, um, or bringing just your own reusable bag whenever needed, or simply just switching from a water bottle every day to a hydro flask. California, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Maine, New York, Oregon, and Vermont have all joined the ban on plastic bags. We should all consider convincing others to join the movement and reverse the harmful effects on our Earth. Many don't care to make changes due, not, due to not wanting to inflict inconveniences on themselves, but this rather leads to inconveniences for future generations. By living sustainably, we help reduce the large production of plastic within our ecosystem. 
It's important we leave the world livable for our kids and our grandkids someday. We will need our oceans and everything within them for years to come, and it's important we learn to work together to make a change worldwide. We can visualize the benefits of living sustainably by viewing the future living plastic bag free. Once we ban plastic bags, it will eliminate the extensive amount of plastic waste consuming our oceans. We will be able to swim freely and walk clean beaches without litter obstructing our view. It will ensure healthier oceans and animals, allowing less microplastics, microplastics within our systems and within ourselves. When we consume fish, we won't have to worry about harmful chemicals being infused within. A plastic bag ban has a high likelihood of reducing single-use plastic consumption and coastal pollution, says Melissa Van, Berkman, Melissa Van Resenberg at Coastal Environment. This helps eliminate the great amount of floating plastic that is now larger than France. While recycling is extremely important, as long as we have single-use plastic bags circulating in our ecosystem, it will hold us back from progressing success successfully. According to the letters, more than 112 countries across the world have agreed to curb the high the sale of single-use plastic items, and that number is only expected to grow. A plastic bag-free world is, is something we should all strive to live in for the sake of our health and our environment. If Americans can encourage all the states to join the ban, we can help contribute to living in a cleaner world with less expenses to clean up. Just imagine a beach free of plastic flags and clean fish swimming in the ocean they once had. In conclusion, today we discussed the negative of plastics, how we can reduce it, and why we should. I encourage all of you to attempt to live a sustainable life and limit your use of, of single-use plastic. Try bringing your own bag or simply just reusing a plastic bag for as long as you can manage without abusing many. There are many ways to live sustainably. Just find something small and build upon it. Not only will your future children thank you, but so will all the sea turtles trapped in plastics every day. The more we spread the word, the more people will encourage, will be encouraged to join the movement and saving our earth.